hey, you're awake. How are you feeling? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't try getting up, okay? You fell and you hit your head pretty hard. Yeah. And I don't know if you've noticed yet, but kind of have a gash in your leg and potentially a twisted ankle. Yeah, please, please sit down. Don't move. Relax. It's okay. Okay? We're in a safe spot. There's no zombies around. We're okay. How's your head feeling? Yeah. Do you? Here. Have some water. water, so let's try to ration this. About half of that left. I'll have to go find some. I'll have to go find some in a, in a little bit. Okay. So, do you remember what happened? No. That's okay. So, basically, we were being chased by runners and there must have been a hill in front of you or something because you fell down the hill and on the way down you must have hurt your leg and hit your head and thank god I was able to grab you and get to this abandoned house that's still kind of creepy but we're safe and that's all that matters huh? So, while you were sleeping, I went on a little supply run where I got some stuff to uh, help fix you up. on your leg because your ankle's looking kind of swollen. Yeah, I ended up finding this in the back of an old abandoned drugstore, so. Shake content squeeze. already feeling nice and cold, so I'm just going to apply it to your ankle. Just make sure that stays on there, okay? Oh my gosh, and then you have a gash in your leg that I wasn't able to cover before I left. Hopefully it's not infected. Oh. Reminds me, we need to take your temperature. Make sure you don't have an infection or a fever or something. Okay, perfect temperature, you are good. something. Okay, okay, okay. It's a pretty bad gash, so I'm like, maybe we should use this instead of this. I don't know, I'm not a freaking doctor. Say so that's back at the Fedra camp. Okay. So let me 
wipe off any dirt that's on your leg because you are pretty dirty oh yeah look at all that dirt dang Okay, I wiped the dirt off from around the area, and I'm going to just spritz some disinfectant spray because we don't want it to get infected, so just relax. We'll need to use this because that gash is pretty big. I know, I'm sorry. I know that probably hurts. Okay. So that's wrapped up. Let me just put some tape on there so it doesn't come apart. Just try not to walk on that for a couple days. I think that's the longest we can spend here is probably a couple days before we really have to get going. You remember where we're going, right? You didn't hit your head that hard. Yeah. Yeah, to the fireflies, yeah. Okay, you know. Yeah, I gotta get to the fireflies. Hopefully we'll hopefully we'll be there in a week or two. Feels like we've been on the road forever. When in reality, it's been like, what, two, three weeks? Two and a half? Do I miss home? No. That's not even my home. The Fetcher Camp? No. Ever since Fedra did what they did, I'm never going back there. Ever since I lost Cassie. But, you know, our main focus is just to get to the Firefly camp. That's all I can focus on. Because if I don't focus on that, I'm going to focus on Cassie. So I gotta focus on getting to the Firefly camp, both of us. <sighs> I know Fedra took your mom. And I know nothing can replace that. But hopefully we'll meet some new people that we love and care for at the camp. People that understand us and don't want to just outright remove anyone that doesn't listen to their rules like Fedra does okay. anyways oh, are you hungry? you're probably really hungry so, we don't have a lot we're gonna have to ration because who knows if there will be stuff on the way when we leave in a couple days. So 
so we have just some crackers. So you'll have one cracker now. I'll have one. And then we'll have one each later. And then even tomorrow morning, we can have two in the morning. And then one each again for lunch, maybe dinner too, depending how we're feeling. And then and that'll be enough for today and tomorrow. Next day, same thing. And then hopefully we'll find some actual food. Now you were out for a few hours. In those few hours, yeah, I went over to an old drugstore. I was in like a shopping center. See, there was a bunch of tents around. It must have, there must have been like some kind of festival happening. I don't know when everything happens all overgrown and abandoned, of course. That's my point. In this festival, I found something. Are you ready? Dr. Seuss's, oh baby, the places you'll go. Now I know you like poetry, but I know this isn't poetry poetry, but in a way it is. Oh, come on. Wow, this book's been through it. Do you want me to read it to you? Since you're stuck in bed and we have some time to kill until we go to sleep and then wake up and do the same thing over again. Yeah, okay. Baby, oh baby, the places you'll go, the world you'll visit, the friends you'll know, the horn tooting apes from the jungles of Jorn well, who a big two on the day you were born? <laughs> oh my god. Did they really used to read this to kids? While a bird flying high from far off in Katru will sing on the wing happy birthday to you. Then the onceler will call on his whisper maphone with a secret he's saving for your ears alone. <laughs> Someone must have gotten hungry. You will find from your very first moment in space, you're surrounded by new friends all over the place. There's Daisy Head, Maisie, there's Daisy Head, Maisie, and Cindy Lou Who, Hunches and Bunches, Lolly Lee Lou, Lolly Lee Lou. The Curious Crandles, the Brothers Bazoo, the Star Belly Sneeches, the Wump of Gum Too, Bartholomew Cubbins, Marco and Max, and also the North and the South Going Zacks. This is weird. There's Thidwick who lives with his friends in a bunch at a lake where there's lots of sweet moose moss to munch. A very tall cat in a red and white hat who loves to do tricks and was Jihas a flat. A boy with his yo-yo, the youngest McCave, and his 22 brothers who are all named Dave. Do you know a Dave? I don't think I know a Dave. And a worm who can see all the way to Japan, which is quite a bit farther than anyone can, really. 
and Horton who lives in the jungle of Knoll, and every 15th of May in the cool of the pool. I'll show you the dust speck that houses the Who's, those brave little folks we would not want to lose. He saved their whole town, he knows after all. A person's a person, no matter how small. Unless they're a zombie. Soon you will meet a young man, Sam I am, and get your first taste of his green eggs and ham. Speaking of eggs, try some scrambled egg super, special deluxe a la Pita T. Hooper. You are invited to have some roast beef every Christmas in Whoville. It's really a feast. You will visit great places no speller can spell, like the country of Mata Fata Pata Fapel. I should shoot this book. Or you'll ride on a Fizzma Wizard Medill. You'd be better to do it because no one else will. And take a quick trip out to Salem the Sand, where Yeto the turtle was king of the pond. Yeto the turtle was king of the pond. Till a turtle named Mac did a pl plain little thing. He burped and he toppled the throne of a king. You will sit by the edge of a Mick Elliot's pool, where the fish just like you spend their days in a school. And you'll find that it's fun when you hop on your pop. Don't be surprised when he asks you to stop. On Beyond Zebra, you'll find a new letter like Yek Yes or Wom that'll make your life better. And you'll have a story that no one can be when you say that you saw on Mulberry Street. But whatever you do, things always won't go right. You might meet the Grinch in the dark of the night. His heart is too small and his shoes are too tight. He's not very friendly and rarely polite. You may run into trouble, as folks often do, when you're trying to travel to Sala Salu, like that world-famous Zanzibar Buck Buck Mafate, who got caught in the traffic on Zay Highway 8. Is this still going? While you're growing, we're all busy counting the days till we meet you. Excitement is mounting. We've saved you a seat at the first matinee, the Circus McGurkus, there are four every day, where great daredevil Sneelock, the world's bravest type, will be pulled through the air by three Sabrian snipe on a dingus contraption attached to his pipe. Here are two tickets for you and a guest to the new zoo McGrew Zoo, and it's really the best. It's there you will see the great Russian Paluski. This zoo, it's true, has not one ski, but two ski. Their head skis are red ski, their bellies are blue ski. I'd try not to miss them if I were you ski. You'll find that this world's a great place to begin, and it could use some help, which is where you came in. Come in. So now, as my voice burples, burples in your ear with a bump thumpy sound that is not very clear, the words I am saying. You hear in your heart and know that I wish you the best, very best start. It's a scrumptious world and it's ready to greet you. And as for myself, well, I can't wait to meet you. Wait, is this for a baby? This is for a baby. You're not a baby. It's the only book they had, okay? The only book that wasn't rotting away and in pieces, so... Beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm trying to find... Where is it? Oh, my compass. I figure... I can get an idea of the directions of this house, so...
Okay, so north must be that way and south is that way. And east, west. Yes, yeah, it's buggy. Might need to get a new compass. Okay, there. I think I got it. Yeah, that was right. It should be right. Just wait out the night. Want any more water? this too. There was no water where I went looting. At least no fresh water. We'll figure it out though. We always do. How's your ankle doing? Yeah, just, just don't walk on it too much. And your head? How's your head doing? Understandable, yeah. You do have some, like, cuts around your face. A little bit of bruises. Let me just spray some of that in disinfectant on it. Maybe we'll put some band-aids on it, too, because they're just little cuts. My main concern was your leg, for sure. Of course, I can't find anything. So just close your eyes. I'm just going to let me wipe off any of this dirt real quick. Okay. I'm just going to spray this disinfectant. cut right here. Feel okay? Yeah. Okay, good. This one on another little cut over here just to keep it covered so it doesn't get all nasty. really look like and you have a few little scrapes on your arms but 
I don't think those need to be covered or anything. I could just be cleaned off a little bit. Sleep okay. Mm -hmm. 